How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Slay the Spire. Thank you to the developers Megacrit for sending me a copy of this game. It's an early access card based roguelike game that's a mouthful that's a lot of different layers there. But I had a couple friends who recently picked up the game and they've both put in, put in like 30-40 hours in this first week of having the game. I noticed people like Wanderbots, Northern Lion, Yippie Mr. Falcon, they were all putting out like a shitload of episodes on it. I guess I can only choose the one character for now. I even tweeted at Mr. Falcon and he just said, be prepared to lose sleep. So I'm very excited to check this one out. So for now, my only character available is the Ironclad, 80 HP, starts with 99 gold. The remaining soldier of the Ironclads sold his soul to harness demonic energies. He has burning blood at the end of combat, heal 6 HP, 6 unlocks remaining. I need, I need to collect, so maybe it has kind of like a rogue legacy, like it's rogue light, like there is things of progression. Okay, there are different paths I can take leading towards the end here, similar to like Darkest Dungeon, I suppose, and I don't know if I'm supposed to look ahead. I'm going to pick this one because it looks like it puts me at, oh, a merchant right away, not treasure. Good, good thing I have the legend. All right, well, in that case, let's take the one without all the unknowns. I'd rather start off with something that I can wrap my head around. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy once you're out and your turn. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Straightforward enough. Play defensive cards to block. Wears off the start of the next turn. During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent. If they're about to attack, you should probably block. Well, that, having the intent seems like it makes it almost a little too easy, but I do kind of like that it takes the guessing out of it. So, aggressive, I should probably defend. I only have the one defend to choose. Oh, but I can whip down two. Okay, end turn then. Oh shit, you discard every time. Oh, I don't think I can attack and defend, so I, I might as well end. Good. <laughs> that was a very effective block. You can suck it. So now he's trying to block. I'm going to throw everything I can at him. I don't have the bash. I, I have enough energy that I can actually play... Oh, I got to select my target. Okay, there we go. And going to just use all that on him. End turn. Wait, oh, so he did... I think he did do an attack block. Oh, so I, if I have enough energy to, I can do an attack and a block. No more cards. If there are no more cards to draw, your discard pile is shuffled back into the draw pile. Okay, simple enough. Oh, that's going to be so cool once I start actually building up my deck. So what's he doing now? Defensive intends to block and use a buff. Well, if he's just using a buff, then he's not going to actually strike or anything. So I might as well whip, whip out all my attack cards there. No more energy, can't do anything more. I wonder if I ever get to raise my energy. That could be a buff, I suppose. Or it could be some of the things that get improved across different runs that I do with the game. So applies 8 and applies 2 vulnerable. Vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage from attacks. So if I do this to begin with, he should take... Was it 50% more damage? Because all of a sudden he'll take 9 here and I'll kill him. Ah, oh, perfect! That added up exactly as I wanted it to. You can only have up to 10 cards in your hand. Wow, so you really don't get a lot. I get the gold, and let's see what the new card is. Oh, I have to choose. So Perfected Strike. Deal 6 damage, deals an additional 2 damage for all of your cards containing Strike. So all the ones that I have in my hand are in my deck, do you think? Hmm. Deal 4 damage and apply 1 vulnerable to all enemies. That's pretty good. Deal damage equal to your current block. Oh, that's pretty cool. Until next turn prevents damage? That seems incredibly good. That seems like a really, really, really good card. Up to 10 cards in your hand, but this is my deck. That's different, right? So I, I can have all of those. Oh, I could probably choose to draw. I think I already know, like, I could click here maybe and choose to draw at the cost. At the start of each turn, five cards are drawn from here. Click to view. Oh, so I can see what's coming up. Sorted by their rarity. He's just using a buff. This cultist. Oh, cool. I do get to see what they're called. I missed what the other thing was. 
cultist, also known as man dressed as bird with a tail who ripped the horns off of an antelope. He's got some weird mix-matched things going on there. I'll bash him. If he's just sitting there using buffs, then I might as well, right? And then get the extra, get that nine damage again there. Oh, strategic and and vulnerable. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. That's everything that I I knew that he had. No new information coming in there. Incantation. My power is unmatched. Ritual. At the end of this turn, gains three strength. I have strength? I obviously have hit points and things. Will he do more damage if he has improved strength? That must, must come into play. So if he's planning to attack, I'm going to do this. Deal damage equal to your current block. So I can get block up to 10. That will negate all that damage. And I can body slam him for 10, right? Right? Deal damage. Oh, deals 15 damage. My current block. Oh, because I must have like a base amount of defense or something like that. Body Slam's an awesome card. I'm glad I took that one. And he just won't be able to hurt me, so that cancels that out. Vulnerable, but now he has strength. Increase attack by three. Works pretty much exactly like I assumed it would. He's planning to attack again. I just drew a bunch of defense and body slams again, so I might as well just throw that straight back at him. Go ahead and take my zero damage. Oh, shit. Is my health carrying on from the previous battle? So I'm not healing at the six at the end of every turn. At the end of combat. Oh, shit. Okay, so I don't actually... I thought I was going to go back up to full health every time. All right, this game just got significantly harder. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm not too concerned yet. I haven't really got close to dying or anything. But yeah, shit's a little tough. Gain two strength up into my potion slot. Drink or throw potions. Potions stay with you between rooms. That's handy. And gain eight block, draw one card. Shrug it off. Or I could just load up another body slam into my thing. Iron wave, gain five block, deal five damage. Mm hmm. I like shrug it off. Shrug it off seemed like a good one. Uh, let's go with unknown. I'm feeling adventurous. We'll see what happens. Oh, cool. There's like the story things. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center center of the room. Its warm, glowing, warming glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. Upgrade two random cards, but lose 16 HP. HP hasn't been, been a big concern yet. I'm really curious what an upgrade will look like. Oh, the, I, f damn it, I wish they would have stayed for just like a second longer. As you walk through the light, you notice that the light is absorbed into you. It's scorching hot. However, the pain quickly recedes. You feel invigorated, as though you received a well-deserved sleep. Okay, so I just had Bash. Bash plus, that was upgraded. Deal 10 damage, apply 3 vulnerability. So extra vulnerable and more damage. It still says 50% vulnerable, so I don't really know how much that changed. Mm, and Strike Plus. Oh man, they still take the same amount of energy to use. That's dope. Okay, so I think that was uh, the right choice, was going through there. Oh, there's Elite. All right, well, I'm gonna do a regular battle because I wanna try and heal back six health. I'll do this unknown, I'll face, face the Elite. Unless I really need a rest. I, there's, there's, I, I, I kind of have like an intended route going on here. So I'm, I'm feeling good about this so far. Two enemies. First time I've had to do this. Intends to inflict a negative effect on you. Both of them are kind of thinking that sort of shit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the acid slime instantly. Just why not? He's just using a buff, not an actual attack. So I don't think blocking is worthwhile. Mm, that's everything I could do. Perfect. That's I'm fine with that. Vulnerable will go away for the next three turns. Oh, ma that must be what the vulnerable plus did. Is that that'll last longer now? And 25% less block from cards for one turn. I guess I just won't use blocks this turn. I'll just use attacks. Shrug it off. Yeah, I'll just focus on attack. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I didn't expect them to add up quite so much. All right, that went ex exceedingly well. I like that I keep getting new cards. Like, I, I haven't had a repeat of cards to choose from yet. 
Armament. Gain 5 block. Upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. That's dope. Deal 13 damage. Apply 1 weak, 1 vulnerable. Weakened creatures deal less damage. So that's good. It does a lot of damage, which is pretty hard to say no to. Deal 8 damage every time this card is played. Increase its damage by 4 for this combat. I think that's cool. That just sounds like it would be a lot of fun. So I'm going with that one. Uh, yeah, the unknown. That's the That makes the most sense to me. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. The Transmogrifier. I didn't see the title before. He looks like he's successfully collected the Dragon Balls. Pray and transform a card. I'll transform one of the many blocks that I have, maybe? I have so many blocks. I'll try that. Oh, it's just going to be random. Okay, I thought it was going to be an upgrade. Transform, very different. Sever soul. Damn it, quit doing this. As the power of the shrine flows through you, your mind feels altered. I guess once you've played through the game enough and you know the cards, then it doesn't matter that it sticks around. But for now, I don't know them. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand to deal 16 damage. Removed until end of combat. So I can only do that one once. Wait, oh, exhaust. They're gone for the rest of the game. Oh, okay, so that's kind of like a big finisher move. That's, um, that makes that substantially more difficult to use, to use properly, I suppose. Metallicize, right off the bat. The Lagavulin. Isn't that the name of, like, a really expensive scotch? He's sleeping, and he gains eight block at the end of its turn. Every time? Every turn? Goddamn. All right, well, he's obviously not going to... I don't want to waste the body slam right now. I'll just do some strikes. Oh, he is awake. He's stunned on its turn. Okay, didn't mean to wake him up like that. I think I... He's not... He's just dazed, so he's not going to attack me or anything. Energy doesn't roll over, does it? Like, there's no point saving. No, no. So, that's not overly worth it. Oh, fuck me. 18? He's going to attack for 18 damage? Hmm. I don't think I want to just take that. Like, gain 2 strength. Yeah, I'm I'm fighting a tough guy. I might as well... How long is that going to last? The entirety of the combat, I think. I hope. Use the bonus damage one. Exhaust all non... Oh, 18 damage would be great. I should probably try and negate some of this damage I'm about to receive. Can't use this, so just regular attack. I don't... I'm not feeling too good about this one. I'm certainly going to need a rest after this. I delayed resting. I mean, I, I was so close to full health, resting would have been a waste. But I guess it would have made me not have to fight this guy. But there's probably the trade-off of fighting this guy will lead to getting better cards. Oh, dope. Rampage. Yes. Please. Uh, I'm just automatically using that no matter what. It's just gonna happen. Shrug it off, gain eight block, draw one card. Yeah, yep, yep. That's uh, that's important right now. Oh, and body slam. Deals 10 damage. Perfect. That was, that was probably like the best combo of cards I could have hoped for. Hey, maybe I could have used them better. In my mind, that made the most sense. I'm feeling pretty good about this. We both have each other down to like close to half, not quite half yet. Oh, he's uh, he's just gonna use a negative effect. All right, if it's not damaged, then I'm just attacking. Gonna throw all those out against him. Kind of a little wary here. Siphon Soul. Oh, what? I thought he was gonna steal health. I'm I'm glad that's not what it was. Strength is still up by one. He brought it down by one uh, and decreased block by one. So, I only have one... Oh, all non-attack cards. Oh man, was I ever... Did I ever think about this differently? So it's an attack that uses non-attack things. Oh, I can't... My blocks aren't as good anymore. That's really disappointing. But I, I want to block and, and body slam because I want to try and negate as much damage as I possibly can. I don't know if that's the right... I'm still learning here, still learning to juggle things. Shrug it off. That's, uh, this one's too good to not use. Hopefully I'll get something that is a little more helpful. Nah, I just got a strike, but I'll, I'll live. 
not enough energy. Oh shit, I did use three. I was thinking maybe I'd throw one more block up instead, since he's close enough to dying anyways. Hopefully, I can finish him off. I was thinking if I have, uh, either, I was thinking either Rampage or, or if I had Sever Soul or something. I was kind of hoping I would draw that one and I could make use of that here. I, I can kill him here easily, easily. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the bash because I want to make him vulnerable. I want to make him feel bad about himself before I rampage all over his face. I wonder if it's worthwhile to throw out some of these cards if I feel like uh, some of them are just getting in the way, you know? Can I can I do that? Is that an actual option? View upgrade. Oh, neat. So any card can be upgraded, but only only once, right? Holy shit, upgraded rampage would be so insane. I also haven't run into a, a merchant yet, so gold. I wonder if I should try and hit up a merchant. Bottled flame, upon pickup, choose an attack card at the start of each combat. This card will be in your hand. Tip relics. Relics found throughout the spire grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. They can be found by defeating powerful foes or within chests. Oh yeah, I want rampage every time. Because I want to use that as quickly as possible. No, 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 don't, don't skip card. Don't skip card. No, I, 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 I collected the relic. Now I want to collect the card that I, I won. I won it fair and square. That sucks. Crap. I guess I shouldn't have done it in that particular order. That did nothing but screw me up. Ah, I guess sometimes it's just, you're just going to battle things. So right away, hmm. I should probably try and kill the slime. I feel like I should maybe try and defend myself too. I'm just going to throw a bunch of attacks at this guy, get rid of him as quick as I can. Acid Slime, Jaw Worm, didn't get to see his name before. And yeah, oh shit, I can't, I can't use it right now. I guess I'll block then. It would have been really great to just throw away one of like the many defends that I have in order to do like 16 damage, that would have been great. I would have been down for some of that. It kind of sucks not having that strength boost anymore, you know? Shrug it off, uh, he's planning to attack, 8 block, draw 1 card, pretty much negates what this guy was going to do, I'd say that's worth it. 7 damage, a little more vulnerable, and we can f finish him off, oh damn it, I forgot bash takes 2, I keep I keep just thinking in terms of 3 cards, um, nuts, well at least, at least I'm not going to take damage here, but I am going to take, uh, will this pile, will lick, lick add 2? For two, it's just adding turns, not adding to the amount reduction. It's just adding to number of turns. All right, shit, they're both attacking. And to prevent damage until next turn, like, so I, I can just throw this on here and and not take any damage, right? And just and just chuck this out. And, and hopefully that does that mean I take no damage this turn turn am I misunderstanding how exactly that card operates is he still gonna do two damage to me here yeah okay that damage the gate thing I'm reading it wrong that's not how that one works he's just blocking and buffing I I'm just gonna try and push to get this guy killed as quick as I can Exhaust all. Do I have any other defense? Bah. Uh, there's one in there. I don't. I, I'm gonna try and use the soul. Sever soul. I haven't used it yet. It seems like it could be neat. It doesn't really get me that much closer to being done with him though. Now he has extra attack. Maybe should have just focused on killing the guy. Oh nope. But I got. I got my rampage. Love that card. And finish him off. Oh crap. I'm not gonna finish him off. <laughs> um, uh, I guess I'll shrug it off then, for the just for the sake of having the extra block. Damn, damn it all! I thought that was gonna be enough to do this guy in. Well, uh, at the very least, I'll just I'll just bash him then. Oh fuck! I keep forgetting that he has block as well. I keep not accounting for his block. That's what's doing me in. Note to self: pay closer attention to that. Oh, okay. having like a third of my health moving on here is not good. Draw three cards, handy enough. Perfected strike, I've I've already had that one. Pommel strike, deal nine damage, draw one card. That's really good. Zero, 
It takes zero energy. Deal four damage. Place a copy of this card in your discard pile. Whoa. Oh, so I could just start, like, accumulating a lot of that card, right? That could be cool. Rare cards have a gold border, it says. So these ones, are they... They're not considered rare, are they? They just, uh... They're more rare, perhaps? They're some more of a specialty card? I need a merchant, probably. I bet I can sell things at a merchant. No way I'm fighting an elite right now. Treasure would be great. This is the this is the road I want to go down right now. Monster, treasure, and merchant. That seems like what I most need. Look, just a bunch of little imps. Mad gremlin, sneaky gremlin, gremlin wizard. Lots of gremlins. All planning to attack me pretty well. This guy, unknown. His intentions are unknown, but he's not attacking. He's definitely not attacking. That's confirmed somehow. No, nothing can do enough damage to just off one of these things. I'm going to kill the... They do a lot of damage. The sneaky ones do a lot of damage. I'm killing them first, absolutely. And... I could strike plus him. But I, I'm probably better off defending a little. I, I should I should take a, a defensive stance here when I'm this close to dying. I'll be able to kill them soon enough, I'm sure. That was the right that was the right choice. Charging up. Oh, okay. He's he, I'm I'm scared how how long is it going to take him to charge? Like whenever mad gremlin takes attack damage, it gains one strength. Oh, so I haven't attacked him yet. I should basically save attacking him for a time when I know that I'm going to be able to do, like, a lot of damage to him. <sighs> not enough. Not enough to take take out the sneaky guy. Close, though. It'll be close enough to taking him out that it seems worth it. They'll only be able to do, what, three damage to me? Put me down 20. Hopefully this guy's still just charging. I assume he needs a while. Here it comes. I don't like that. 25! Oh, dear lord, no. I should have uh, been committing more resources to attacking that guy. At least, this is cool. Now I have two of those in there. Eventually, I'll just draw a shitload of them. And, you know, you can just spray out attacks all over the place. Um, He's just going to kill me. I, I can't. The most I can do here is, what, 18? So I can't, I can't kill either of them. Draw more cards. I guess I have to, because I'm going to die. So I pretty much just have to draw more cards. Ah, discard to deal 16 damage. That's not great. I don't have enough energy to do this and this. What if I blocked for 10? They would do 19 together. Uh, this is the only way I can keep myself alive. I have to block for 10 so that they barely don't kill me. And then I just have to try and kill. He's probably going to start charging up again after this. So I want to try and take him out. And if I don't, like if I attack this guy too many times, I'm just going to jack up his damn anger a whole bunch. Blocked. Ultimate blast. One health. What are the chances that I can ever make this work? You know, this is uh, going to be very iffy. Hey, zero damage for one more turn. I can I can keep this alive just a, a little bit longer. Shrug it off. No, gotta go for the gotta go for the damage here. And five damage, six damage. We're keeping this run alive. We're, I'm, I'm staying in it here. This is getting kind of fucky, though. This isn't... I wouldn't recommend playing this fast and loose with everything, you know? Okay, I'm going to use the anger to just kill that guy. Perfect. Doesn't cost me anything. I can rampage for 12. Holy shit, I'm going to live this battle. I'm going to make it through this. I don't know if... I don't think I had a rest coming up or anything like that. That was... Oh my god. I just got an achievement. Shrug it off. What was that for? Win a battle with one HP remaining. That's the first achievement I ever I ever unlocked. 
which is like, it just doesn't seem like that would be one you would get so early on. I feel a little proud of that. Whoa, power cards. This card applies a power to you when used. Powers are passive abilities that remain for the duration of combat. It costs three energy though. Skills cost zero. When you play a skill, exhaust it. Right. Oh, oh, so that's, it was just highlighting one passive one. I do have other options. Pommel Strike or Second Wind. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and gain five block for each. That is pretty good. What, what do I have that's considered skills? All my defends are considered skills and Shrug It Off is considered skills. It would be pretty cool to pay zero to defend but never getting it back I don't think that is good right now um I need as much defense as I can get something that can give me a huge wind of defense there would be great oh what if I just went through all these and one of them was a rest I need to get to I need to get to that rest as quickly as possible here all right treasure first my first chest 82 gold shitload of gold and ornamental fan Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Block until next turn prevents damage. That's awesome. Oh, wait a second. Prevents damage until next turn prevents damage. So it's not saying negates zero damage. See, that's just me reading it wrong. So it's just telling me what block does, essentially, which obviously, yes, it negates damage. Prevents. Whatever. Does Either or. Please sell potions. Please heal me. Card removal service. Remove a card from your deck. The cost of the service increases by 25. Oh. Oh, you have to pay to remove cards? That's uh, a pain in the ass. All right. I just need max HP. Choose and upgrade a skill. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Heal three HP at the end of each turn for five turns. Yeah, I, I need those regen potions, so I just am going to buy those instantly. Headbutt. Deal 9 damage. Place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. That's cool. Deal 7 damage to all enemies. That's pretty great. Just got this one. Power throw. Add 2 wound to your hand. Add 2 wounds to your hand. Gain 15 block. Wounds are unplayable status cards. Oh, that seems annoying to have. Rupture. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Good instincts until next turn. Gain four block. Oh, oh, but it costs zero. It costs zero to use. That is a good one. And Panache. This is a rare one. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal ten damage to all enemies. Oh, that's cool. So if I had a bunch of these zero, these like zero cards, then, then that would be possible. Right now, it's not really something I can do. Um, I like the sounds of Headbutt. I'm just gonna bash people in the brain. Oh, I can afford other things. I might as well, considering how close I am. Block potion, I'm gonna need that. Uh, how close I am to dying, like I might as well. And cleave, maybe? Might as well get cleave. And then I'll leave after buying cleave. That's good that I get both of these. Like that I can have ornamental fan and bottled flame. That is good. Seven health going into this one. Oh, they're all curling up. What does that mean? They just have a shitload of defense, probably. On taking attack damage, rolls up and gains 7 block. So I just have to try and kill them in, like, one go, if at all possible. Oh, they're all trying to attack me, these bitches. Deals 10 damage. I could kill one of them. Let me, like, think ahead here. Right away, I'm, I'm just chucking down a block. And a regen potion would be grand. I don't even know if this will last five turns, honestly. I, I, I just gotta... I gotta rampage. Kill one of these louse. Uh, I'll chuck a headbutt in there. Now they... Oh, he blocked it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good. Oh, wait. Yes. Oh, okay. I can still kill it. Ah, because I wasn't going to be able to defend everything. So I needed I needed to be able to kill at least one of them to, to not have them get through my block right now. This is the tensest. 
This is ins this is the most ridiculous first battle I could have had in this game, and I kind of love it. Oh, immediately give me that back. That's incredible. I love that. Yes, please. So if I don't, if I kill him, he won't get the curl up, right? Good. Perfect. That's exactly how I wanted that to go. Uh, shrug it off to get the block. Draw a card. Anger. Oh, no. Do I not want to anger him? Because if I use anger, I'm just going to increase his block, right? Gains five block, and that's pretty huge. Um... Let me think through this. If I attack him twice, he's going to gain 10 block, and I'm only going to do 10 damage. Yeah, so that doesn't seem worth it. I can do the one. He has five blocks. That's not worth using, so I'm, all, I'm, all I would do is... All, all I would do is jack it up more, so that's totally not worth it. Anger is not the right, right route to go with these guys here. Do I almost done with just try and drag this on so that I can let my regen take effect? I think that is going to be important, actually. So I'm going to do this. Uh, oh, he's not curled up anymore, so he doesn't get that block back. So that's fine. I'm... I'll chuck a block up just because. It's not really going to matter. I'm trying to exhaust the number of turns here so that I, I can raise raise my health a little bit more attacks deal 25 percent less damage for two turns that's fine i'm not actually trying to kill this thing i uh i guess i just end a turn oh shit i have no i have nothing to block with if i let him do five damage ah i would only heal six more so it's it's not worth it i just i do just have to kill this thing now I wish I could have let that ride out just a little bit more to try and heal a little bit. Apply six poison. Pummel. Deal two damage four times. And then it's removed until the end of combat. What's the point of it not just doing eight? I guess that's significant because if I was doing something like something that had that curl active, I would be raising its block every time. Deal five damage twice. Or war cry, draw two cards, place a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Exhaust. War cry gets exhausted, I think. I'll just do the twin strike. That seems like it would be useful. Holy shit, I made it to a rest. This will be good. Heal 30% or upgrade a card. Yeah, heal please. Definitely a hard yes. <laughs> hard yes to the heal. No other option is really going to cut it. I didn't accumulate enough uh, gold to really be able to do anything here. Oh, there's some there's some things that are are on sale, so I could afford something. Apply three weak block poison. Might end up buying this, but this guy, look at the sale it's on. Spend all gold. Spend all energy. Deal five damage to all enemies X times. What is X times? It's it's random, maybe. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, let's just give it a try. The interesting thing is that it showed X. Oh, oh, X is the number of energy that I have left. X times. Yeah, okay, okay. So you do want to use that first. You don't want to use another card than that one. Oh, enlightened. Reduce the cost of cards in your hand to one this turn. That would have been a really handy one if, uh, you know, if I could afford it. I'll look at some of the other ones. Disarm. Enemy lose two strength, exhaust, combust. At the end of your turn, lose one HP and deal four damage to all enemies. That's a pretty good one. Apply two weak. Yeah, and that's all. That's all I can do today. Thank you. Thank you for your aid. Whoa, I'm almost at the the boss. Well, I just gotta go fight random. I'll fight the guy in the middle here, and then I can make it for a rest. Slaver. Did I? Oh, I didn't, right, I didn't buy the block thing. I probably should have bought that block thing that was, uh, that was an option to buy. Might have been a mistake. I guess I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw down. No, I'll save the regen thing for the boss. Poison creatures lose HP at the start of their turn. Each turn is, re it's reduced by one. Well, I really just want to try and live through this battle and see what the boss is all about. So I'm just going to throw, like, everything I can at this. I'm going to make him vulnerable. Uh, does that not actually improve the damage? 
Oh, okay, yeah. 50% more damage. Yeah. So this should do 12. Perfect. He'll do 13. That's a pretty big hit to take. But if I get, like, a good set of cards here, I could potentially finish him off. Hmm. And gain, like, a shitload of block that way. No. No, that's not what I'll end up doing. I'll just... I'll block block and that 10 that's good enough to cancel out what he's gonna do and turn glad I didn't use the regen against this guy because it's not gonna last that many turns and oh I'm vulnerable now am I and I could do basically anything to finish this guy off so not a difficult pre-boss battle hopefully I get a cool card clash can only be played if every card in your hand is attack that's kind of cool Corruption came up again. Cleave. I'm guessing the boss isn't going to be multiple things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try Clash. Whatever. I don't know if that's really the right way to go here. It seems like possibly not. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And I, and I get to rest again. Okay. I'm going at this guy with like three quarters of my health. That's not bad. Mode Shift. The Guardian. This enemy intends to block and use a buff. After taking 30 damage, changes to defensive mode. Okay, throw the regen potion up, because I'm, I'm just going to want to heal as much as possible, as quickly as possible. I'm just, I just got to throw, I'm going to throw as much uh, attack as this guy as I can. I, I have three w pretty strong single attack things. Uh, so I'm going to do all of that. The two attacks and place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Rampage. I'm going to put Rampage on top. That was a brilliant move. I'm a genius. That block doesn't persist, does it? Like, if he doesn't make his way through my blocks? Destroy, destroy, destroy! Shit, what did he do? After taking three more damage, he's very close to shifting. And aggressive, he intends to attack for 32 damage. What if I shift him... Oh, block doesn't persist. What if I shift him to uh, defensive before he does that? Holy shit. Uh, it can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Oh, but can I do... Alright, I have to I have to try this. I have to do it this way. His, he, he's not going to attack then. So he's just going to use a buff. He has a shitload of defense. Uh, that is still 14. That doesn't actually change. So I, so I can chuck... I can chuck both those at him. That was sweet. Oh, I can still do one more? Holy goddamn. <laughs> um, why, why can't I? Oh, there we go. It was just, it just doesn't have the arrow. So that was fine. This is going exceedingly well. I have more health than I started with. Sharp hide. What's that going to be? Whenever you play an attack, take three damage. Fucker. He's going to attack me from defensive mode? This son of a bitch. Hmm. I'm not going to want to use Anger, as useful as that would be, because I'm going to take damage every time. Uh, whirlwind, spend all... Uh, deal. I would deal 15 damage. Or I could defend and deal 10. I feel like I just want to try and chip away at this guy's health as much as possible. Right? It seems like the way to go. Block 10 or 15. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the 15 damage. Why not? I forgot I was going to take three damage. Shit, now now I regret it a little bit, because now I'm going to take the nine plus the three. That starts to get a little sketchy. Ah, still at three quarters health, honestly. Not, not too concerned. He's going to do 16 damage here, and I have nothing to defend with. Exhaust all non-attack cards and gain five block for each. Well, there's none there. The most I can hope for is this ornamental fan thing if I use three attack cards this turn. Which I can't. I actually can't use. Alright, I guess I just gotta do a bash. Get the vulnerable in there and do a regular old strike. This, I hate this. I hate this sharp hide shit. That's possibly gonna end up killing me. Also him killing me directly is a high risk of him killing me. Oh, now he's going to do 20 damage. All right, but at least he's not doing... At least he's not doing the thing where I get hurt for attacking him. All right, gain 8 block. 
Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do the eight block. He's still gonna do twelve. Uh, I'm gonna defend. Defend once more. Mm, am I? No, maybe I'll just maybe I'll deal the extra damage and make him vulnerable for longer. Maybe. I'm trying to kill this guy as quick as I can here. He's not even at half health though. Shit. This is dicey. This is dicey here. Uh, Rampage. Yes. Yes, I love Rampage. Uh, everything has to be... Alright, so plan of attack, first of all. Rampage, yes. And then... Defend? Strictly so that I can use Clash. So you throw a Defend up. Throw a Clash. And I can still Twin Strike him. And he's still going to be vulnerable, so that'll do a decent amount of damage. Did I just give myself a, a block buff more than once? No, I had play. Uh, okay, I, I I I got it simply the once. I could actually. That's funny. I could still use whirlwind there. It just wouldn't do anything. He's back to having sharp hide again, which I hate. Not a fan of that. Exhaust all non attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cleave damage damage. That's my best bet. I'm gonna have to take nine damage to to attack this guy though, which I do not like. But I'm gonna get. Oh shit! But I immediately took three damage towards that. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. That was less useful than I expected it to be. I didn't. I, I got my four block from the ornamental fan. I immediately took three against that. So that wasn't very good overall. Place a card on the top of your draw pile. Seems like it would be a great way for me to get... Oh, he's about to do 16 damage. I essentially can't attack him. How many non-attack things do I have? Everything's an attack card, right? I can't... I'll get zero for this. And they'd all... They, like... Zero? Zero. Yeah, I can't attack him. I can't attack him or I'll die. Which sucks. I basically just have to take, have to take the damage here. Sharp hide's gone. Oh no, rampage! Rampage is what I really, really, truly needed and wanted there. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm worming my way out of this one. I got real lucky before messing around with with some of that, where I like made it out with one health or whatever. That's not. It's not gonna happen here. He'll, he's vulnerable, so he'll take some extra damage. I'll get him. I'm gonna get him damn close, damn close to dead. But that's as good as it's gonna get, unfortunately. This is gonna be the end, the end of my ironclad. Shit, that was a great first run, though. Death, familiar feeling. I feel like I did really well. Floors climbed. I don't really know. Th 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 that's my score: 16 floors, not 80. <laughs> Enemy slain, 7. Exordium elites killed, 1. Bosses slain, 0. Oh man, I'm still quite a ways from having proper unlocks or anything. Can't actually unlock anything. Oh, I did still. I got a new character. That's dope. So probably next time I play, I'll have to, I'll have to fire up the new character then. Because that was awesome. Great game so far. I'm actually very stoked on this. Wait. This is everything I've seen, or everything I've collected. I definitely... It's just everything I've seen. So let me... Let me get a sense of this. Oh, man. Okay, then there's then there's green cards. Do I... Have I not seen a single green card? Oh, wait. Maybe the different card colors have to do with the different characters? Curses, statuses. Oh, my goodness. There's all sorts of things. So if I went to play... The Silent. The Silent would be my next run then. Because I'm absolutely going to do more runs of this. This game was super fun. No wonder if people were saying you're going to lose sleep or you're going to put hours and hours into this. This game is so awesome. I'm so excited about it. I'm so glad that it's been doing so successful because it seems well deserved so far. I can't wait to play it more. I hope you guys are excited about it too. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon.